Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to play some Zach top lane. It's actually really strong. For your items, you're gonna wanna go D-Shield, one pot, and then you're gonna wanna go Conquer, Triumphant, Tenacity, and then you're gonna wanna go for Last Stand, Revitalize, and Second Wind. So the best thing about this rune page is you scale really hard, it gives you sustain in lane. And when you play Zach top, you do not repeat. Do not play him against Darius, do not play him against Alari, do not play him against Vayne. He has some very bad matchups where you'll just get your head squashed. He plays very well against tank top laners, things like Maokai, Scion, uh, Galio, any, anything tanky that you can think of top lane, he actually does very well against. Against bruisers or against things that do max health damage, I don't recommend him. And he plays best against melee champions in general, that way he can trade with them. So you want to start W and you don't want to start shoving wave right off the bat. You're going to max W first, you're going to go W, Q, E, then you're going to max W. And then max E second. The only reason why you're maxing W first is for wave clear and for trading power. W has more range than your auto attacks by a little bit. So it helps you to farm and it helps you to trade. And to York, if you're finding someone who has Conqueror as well, odds are you're not going to beat them level 1, 1v1. So you got to just take short trades like that. Like one auto attack and one W auto or one auto W. Because if you go in for, oh shit, like a trade, like look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at him go. Like that's what I'm talking about. That's what'll happen. If you try to take trades with someone, like right when he hit level two, I was still coming off of a trade and I got my head knocked in. So you'll learn the matchups. There are some tough ones though. Like I said, Darius Alawi Vane, York's kind of one of them too. He's he's also kind of pushing me off the CS. I'm gonna get my Q here and smack him into his little goons. Knock him into it. Gonna get my blobs. Dude, Lee Sin's gonna get roasted here. Nice. Dude, Lee Sin does so much damage. Alright, I'm gonna try to clear this out a little bit. That's actually really good for us because York doesn't have TP, so we can even TP back to lane. That was a really good gank from the Lee Sin. So, yeah, your W's a massive farm tool. Get your E at level 3, and your Q sets up lots of free ganks. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and reset. Actually, we're not. We're gonna go wait for our Bommy Cinder. Bommy Cinder is your best first item on Zach. And since York does physical damage, we're also we're gonna rush into Sunfire. If you're playing in, into an AP matchup like Maokai, you rush Bommies, but then you rush into uh, Spirit Vistage. You don't finish your Sunfire first item again in an AP matchup. You get that second item. But since this is an AD matchup, we can rush straight into Sunfire Cape. Got another point in our W. We're gonna Q the minion, and then when I tried to hit him, it didn't work. You can auto attack Q. I mean, auto attack W is your best farm tool because your W is like that last bit of health to finish off the minion. So you auto W. It's also a really good trade tool. Auto W or W auto, but for minions, it's auto W normally. Or if you can't quite reach, your auto attacks has less range than your W. So if you can't reach them with your Wow, that guy's such a rat. I think he might actually kill us here. Mm, it's gonna be close. Yeah, he didn't quite get us. We'll TP back, we'll have our bombies. We overplayed our hand there substantially. He's ripping us apart with his ghouls. He's getting a full stack conquer and there's a fucking spider crawling on me or something. That's why you keep hearing my chair twitch. I'm moving. I feel like there's something moving on me. We're going to go ahead and pick up a refill potion. And now we're going to try to freeze this wave. The dude has no flash, so he's going to have some issues now. And with Bommy Sinner, your trades get better. Your wave clear gets better. And you can still freeze waves. Just don't stand right on top of the minions. So we'll leave him with four minions. That way his wave will keep coming to us on Zac. Unless you know where the enemy jungler is, you do not want to push up early. You're setting yourself up in a really bad spot if you do that. I'm going to just last hit these. And remember, your W is AoE, so obviously, if you're not trying to push the wave, especially if the enemy top laner isn't there, don't just W the full wave. My wave's going to start pushing into his. I have a minion advantage now. His minions just rebounded. His minions aggroed my, my two caster minions down really well, evening it out. Ramus is dead. I know I'm not going to get ganked now. 
You can also last hit with your W on its own, especially once you get some points in it. Once again, your W has more range than your autos by a lot. So you can tip, try to tipper it. QM, knock him together. And so there, if I just tried to raw, just go for the cannon, he would have beat my brains in. But since I hit him with the Q and knocked him against the cannon, he was CC, so he couldn't really stop me from going for it. And I just slammed them together. And then you can use W while you, you're slamming shit together with your Q, which is pretty good. Slam them together, just like that. And normally you hold on to your E unless you know for a fact with enemy junglers. Like if I E on him and Ramus shows up, I'm so close to my turret there, it's safe. I can short hop E on him for a little burst trade, but now I have to wait a while. Otherwise, if he puts me in a cage, I'm gonna might be in some trouble. I'll have to ult him out of it or something. Oh wow, my Q actually killed one of his little guys. That sucks. I was gonna slam him against one of his little guys there. Gonna E on top of the minions and on York to get some splash damage. I'm gonna try to just hold the wave here. Get a ward in the bush, make sure Rams isn't gonna eat my head. Alright, we got all three of those minions, not bad. We're gonna farm it up, we're gonna scale like a mofo. Zach Top's one of the best scaling champions in the whole game. What's well, gonna counter you late game on Zach Top is Vayne, that's about it. Vayne and Kaisa give him some trouble, but primarily Vayne. Try to max range farm it with the Q. The Q's just really slow though. Kind of cumbersome to use like that. So on our first back, we got our bombies. And then we also picked up a refill potion. If you can afford it, get refill. If you're in a tough matchup on your first back. If not, just go for the bombies and a one health potion. He just pushed us off a cannon minion. That was really scummy. His maiden's ripping us up too. I wonder if he's trying to set up a dive. We'll go ahead and ward this tri brush. There's like something fucking crawling on me, dude. I don't know what it is. Gonna ult him off me. The dude ignited me, so that's gonna put me in a tough spot. He's playing super far up, which is putting him at risk of getting ganked, but he doesn't seem to care. He, dude, this dude just doesn't give a shit. He's ham as fuck. His Maiden's gonna die. That's not worth for him. Maiden's OP, dude. You don't want to sacrifice Maiden. He's out of mana. He's out of mana. He's out of mana. He has enough mana for maybe like one more Q. Yeah, dude. He's out of mana. I'm gonna pick up these blobs and we'll be good to go. Now he's... Dude, he can't even fight me anymore. This dude's... He's he's out of it. He's probably waiting for a Ramus gank or something. I'm telling him he's got no ignite and no ult. He just, he's using his Q to kind of heal up. But he's out of mana. I'm going to him point blank range. Hit him with a Q. Smack him against the minion. This thing's going to miss Q. That's all right, dude. I know what I'm doing here. I'm going to auto him down and boom. We got it. Nice job, boys. I knew we could do it. So he runs out of mana. That's one nice thing about Zach is Zach doesn't use mana. So as long as you stay alive... You can actually win a lot of trades with people because they'll run out of mana, especially early game to where uh, you can actually get a pretty big leg up on them just for the fact that, once again, Zach literally doesn't use mana. I love that minion block though. I got blocked like three times going this way and then three times going back. <laughs> it's pretty fucking rough. I'm going to auto it one more time. Well, I want to get a plate out of this. I see Ramus is down bot side. It's the only reason why I'm pushing up this far. Trying to dump the next wave in. Try to force York to come back. And I'm, I'm just going to run away from this guy. He scares me. I'm going to max E second. Never max Q second. That's bad. Whoa, the team just took a bit of a dive there. It's all right. We'll get back to lane. We reset the wave really nice. Got a lot of CS. We can get for our full Sunfire. It's a massive first item. Power spike once again. If you're in an AP matchup. Maokai top or echo whatever it is doesn't matter Yeah, you'll be going bomby still right after bombies though You're gonna rush straight into spirit vestige and then finish your sunfire and then obviously you pick up boots in between those full items So now I'm gonna get my boots and then I'll get The team has a lot of AP actually the ram is silas sona, so I'll get sun I'll get uh spirit vestige you don't have to get spirit vestige every game but when, if they have one or more AP champs. It's a really good item on Zach for the sustain it gives and for the massive just stats in general that it provides you. Lee Sin realizes I'm actually his easiest lane to gank. It's kind of funny. All my spells were down. That was just not great timing. 
that. I happened to use my spells right when Lee Sim was coming, so I guess that's my bad. So yeah, now I can just shove wave and then leave. I think that's what we're gonna do here. This guy can't really fight us either. I don't know where Ramus is, so I'm actually gonna hold on to my E. I would love to just E on this guy or E the wave. But I'm definitely not gonna waste E having zero clue. Oh, okay, Ramus is mid. I see him on the mini map. We can't, if we go hit the turret, our Sunfire is going to burn him and then it's going to hit us. So we're, we're just going to leave the turret be. We're going to roll mid. Ooh, nice. That's really good. Let's check if Framus has camps up. You can take his camps. Hell yeah, dude. No way. His golems are up. That's insane. We're clearing it. It's only level 4. I was wondering why we were killing it so fast, but still. The, uh, the bomb is also, whenever you CC something, do you see how it's on cooldown? Check it out. Well, I'll show you here in a second. Whenever you CC anything, whether it's a champion, a monster, it doesn't matter. If you CC something that's living, it, it kicks in the passive into overdrive. So your passive burns on Sunfire. But when you CC something, it makes it burn even harder. I'm going to slam them together. I'm going to ult him back. I'm going to try to near my turret. I have full conquer stacked up. I'm going to flash on him. I don't give a shit. I have a full item and he doesn't. I'm gonna win this. The maiden is knocking my noggin in though. I'm just gonna E over the wall, fuck this guy. He used his flash and uh Yeah, Maiden's OP dude. Maiden is just freaking vicious. I think this bush is warded. Like why is he walking towards me? That maiden is actually so busted. There, there's literally things crawling on me, guys. I don't know what's going on here. There's, there, I can feel stuff touching me. All right, that's EM. Smack him against the Maiden. The Maiden's hitting me, so it's going to focus him down. Nice, 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 baby! Yeah, so the Maiden will automatically focus if it's not attacking a champion. If someone's hitting York, it'll focus them. So since I was bashing York's head in, it started focusing me. And then if, if, if the Maiden's hitting me, it'll focus York. So he took full turret aggro there. Zach's really good at defending turrets after he has three points in his E. He can hop over pretty much any wall. So if the enemies are on any one of our turrets, I can just come up from behind the wall to where they can't see me and defend it. E That's something Jungle Zach does very well since Jungle Zach maxes E first. But on top lane, Zach, once again, once you have two, three points in your E, you can start doing that as well. Now we're going to smash this turret. I'm going to TP to this. York doesn't have TP. I can save this. Oh, maybe not. I think I'm actually dead. Wow, I actually died off that. That's crazy. I guess I didn't... I guess I didn't, uh... Figure out how fast Lee Sin was going to die. When Yorick's 0 and 3 and he's telling me what a TP, I thought it was a good TP, but I didn't think Lee Sin was going to die that fast. I thought Lee Sin was going to be alive and we would turn. Oh well. We're going to build into our Spirit Vistage here. And they actually have a lot of AP and a lot of CC, so I'm actually going to go for my yeah. Merc Treads. Yeah, York's going to get my turret. He actually rushed for Sanguine Bleed. Super greedy rush. He does that because he wants to split push. And Sanguine Blade, if there's... Less, if there's one or less enemy champions nearby, then it gives you a bunch of attack speed. I don't know. I have zero clue why Galio's coming top. He literally can't solo York with that build at all. He has zero armor. York will smash his head in. So it'd be, it'd be best if Galio just went mid and wave cleared for his turret. York 0 and 3 for a reason. He hasn't killed me. Yeah, and there's definitely something crawling on me. Anyways, my ulti's up. We're going to shove wave out. We're going to get a ward up. That TP put us in a really bad spot. Really, really, really bad spot. We had a lot going for us. We gave up turret, but don't worry, guys. Zach top scales crazy good, especially because of the conquer and team fights. is just insane. And once we have spirit vision, Silas won't be able to do what he did to us again. Gonna pick all these up. He's literally actually healing off of me so much. I'm gonna have to get a Bramble Vest. All this lifestyle that he has is actually kind of nuts. Oh ho ho! Boy! That's the damage I'm talking about. 
So that was a Q, slammed him into something, hit him with an EW ulti, it's that easy. And you can spam W while you're on your ult too, while you're bouncing, you can keep mashing W. Simple stuff, guys. Simple stuff. You can E, Q, smack him into something, then ulti. Or you can Q, smack him into something, then E, W, ulti. Same thing. Same result. Slightly different combo. He literally can't kill me. I don't know what he thinks he's doing. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Silas has his ult. Oh, you like that healing, guys? <laughs> you like that healing? I'm picking up the blobs in the middle of the fight like it's nothing. Like it's absolutely nothing. Yo! Get out of, get out of fucking town, mate! Holy guacamole, dude. Knock him up. Hit him into the maiden. Bada boom, bada boom, baby. Let's go now. I'm telling you guys, Zach Top. Yeah, Zach, the Galio didn't believe. He started to run away for a second. He thought I was going to die. <laughs> I was surprised if I didn't die, too. That was so funny. The healing on the Conqueror and the Blobs is too much that if they don't have Ignite or Executioners, you just don't die. And that's the power spike, guys. It's just huge. Yeah, you don't die. You just keep picking up those Bloblets in a fight, and it, it's nuts. It really is nuts. Detective Bot, if I had TP, I'd TP to this. It's whatever. I'll just get this split push going again. Alright. I'll, I'll take his Raptors or something. Yo, is red buffs actually up? No way. Gonna pick up the blobs. Obviously, for those of you who didn't know, whenever you pick up a blob on Zach, it makes your W on a much shorter cooldown. I think most people already know that. Your E is good at last hitting stuff. Your E has so much burst damage. It's like an Annie Q. Just hit it with your E to finish it off. That's what I did there to get the red buff away from this goon. From this absolute knob slobber. Oh, wow. He actually juked me out so hard. Is someone going to flash on me? I feel like they're all going to flash on me. Oh, picked up a blob. What are you going to do about that, mate? I picked up another blob. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I picked up a blob. I got passive, dude. Come on now. Woo! That's a bait right there. I'll tell you what. Dragon's up too. Not bad. You can bait people out. If you pretend like... If you pretend like you don't have passive, people will believe it. Like, they can click on you and see if you have it or not. Just like a Nivea egg. But there, I was like playing really far back. Even though I had passive. And then York just got a rage boner. Used this flash on it. Kind of nuts. Someone is out of position. I can't catch her though. I need to spend my gold. I'm sitting on a... Spirit Vistage, which will up my healing and damage a lot. Zach does scale with HP on his damage sources. Uh, I thought it scaled off his W2. Apparently not. It's with his uh, his Q. I thought he scaled with HP. I mean, I play a shitload of Zach, but wow, maybe I'm confused. How am I confused on this? Okay, I, I guess I'm confused guys. All right, anyways, let's get our bramble vest so they can't heal off of us after you, your main core items are normally spirit vistage Well, balmy cinders core bombies and then normally you'll get a sunfire and then spirit vistage And then you'll usually get a bramble vest to cut their healing up See how he's not healing off of me and I'm picking up all my blogs Yeah, I juked you out dude. You thought I was gonna go long, but that's not how I do it. Like, you're, you're literally so dead. Your maiden can't suck you off forever. Dude, your maiden means nothing to me. Nice. Good job, Pike. 
And this is pretty much what a full Zack build top looks like. At this point, you just get Thorn Melt. And then, normally for your final item, it's normally Leandri's. When you're in big team fights and you're just fighting forever and you need that damage, Leandri's is normally the way to go in those situations. Yeah, you don't rush Leandri's on Zack top, though. It's too expensive for how tanky it makes you. It's more of a later game item. You normally get a fifth or sixth item. In this game, obviously, I'll get it. Probably after Thorn Melt, since I'm ahead. Sell this, build more of my thorn mill. We can just dominate fights. So on fights on Zack Top, if you're tanking enough, you can just engage if that makes sense. Otherwise, you can pilfer your backline if you have the stronger backline. In this case, our backline's pretty shit. It's just Lucian. We have a lot of engage. So what I want to do is land a big knockup on their backline, and then Galio can ult on that. That'll be our best move. And uh, when it is when you're playing Zach, it's all like playing fiddlesticks. Whenever you eat, you typically don't want them to know where you are. That way you can land it. Because if they're looking at you, it's a lot harder to land your E. Because they're trying to juke it, and it's pretty slow. So it's a lot like a fiddlesticks ult in that aspect. So if you guys have ever played fiddlesticks, landing Zach E would probably be pretty easy for you. And obviously, the more points you have in your Zach E, the longer it is. You see, look at this shit. It's like three Kha'Zix jumps. Really fucking long. You can go over walls. I should get. So you're fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked. It's too strong, dude. I'm tanking turret like it's fucking. Look, look. I'll tank it like it's nothing. Like it, it's nothing, dude. It's it means nothing to me. It actually means nothing. It's, it's ridiculous because I can one shot kids. Like, I jumped in and, like, half-helped everybody instantly. Just knock him into the turret. Remember, after you land Q, you can use the structure, you can use a plant, you can use a blast cone, you can use your grandma, whatever it takes. Slam them together and make it happen, dude. Just like Shia LaBeouf said, don't let your dreams be dreams. Land that Q. I'm gonna smack this bitch. Oh, I missed it. Shit. Oh, come on now. No, not like this. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Alright, we died. Hopefully we can end it. That's rough. But anyways, guys, I hope you learned something about playing Zack Top. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King6. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.